All right, should be recording. I mean, I see the files and I, I see OBS. <laughs> All of them say recording. Uh, so yeah, back in Vista Claim Detail, it's been five months since I was last in it and I forgot I was doing this. Um, yeah, it, it's just a kind of funny thing with the, um, uh, and my brain turned off. At the end of Doom 64, I was talking about t having to do an audio surf video after because I had an odd number. I forgot I'd been do doing, uh, this for when I had an odd number. Um, so, but yeah, so I'm back in this. I already have the stuff configured. It's going to be hydroponic hell. Um, and let's uh, get the music going so that, you know, it's not quite so boring for me. Down on my side. And come back in. Here. And I really actually should do an audio surf video at some point just so I can then use more I am not sure. just so I can use more of uh, the um uh the music. There we go. I need to remember how to play the game. <laughs> And I did quickly look this one up, in part because I just want to know, like, is it going to be something I can easily complete? And I think so. Um, and one thing that I saw when looking up, it's really, really neat, is that all the stuff is right here. Look at this. Is really no, not, not, it's not. It's the last time. I like talking about computer hardware in these, don't I? Um, because like AMD has already announced this. This will come out after, but I, this I'm recording this before the um, before the um, uh, AMD RDNA two announcements. And you know, hopefully it'll be good, especially for pricing. <laughs> Um, because my intention is to finally upgrade from the, uh, 5800 I've been using for... Come on. I mean, hey, don't get me wrong, I like 5800. I, 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 I had seen for so long before it came out, the whole, um, the... I was just saying, yeah, 580, the RX 580, that, you know, it, it's a champ of a card that, you know, it did continues to give the performance of Polaris to remain uh, a worthy GPU to consider. And it's like I, I had one for a while, I had to use it because the original Vega that I had died, and rather than put the replacement in, I just figured, yeah, I'll keep it. Um, and, then, uh, and it's just... I, I've been actually pretty happy with it. It is trying to show its age. I'm just kind of thinking if I want to close the door. Let's also stop. Um, but it is my intent, just kind of flatly my intent, to um, to get a new. Oh no, but that's why it'll be also flashing blue to me. To upgrade to one of the new uh, AMD GPUs. No idea which one because they haven't been formally announced yet. I'll probably over buy. Um, Uh, how, how would I describe that? You know, like how some people, you know, seeing the NVIDIA GPU, I'd be like, ah, I only need a 37, a, a, yeah, 3070, but it's like, ah, I'll get the 38. That, that's basically what I'll, I will do, something akin to that. Because, you know, just that way it gives me greater certainty. And also, I feel like it's kind of safe to say for AMD. And this was also the case with NVIDIA, with the 200 
sorry, 2002. That, yeah, that's, that's not the series. If you want the new tech, that's not the series you wanted to buy. You want to wait um, for the 2000 series. Um, if you actually wanted to make sure that you had the, the best because you know, let them learn. And though I am confident that AMD's ray tracing in particular is going, it can be considered a second generation design, um, it still is going to be, I think, a, yeah, we may see with RDMA 3 significant games. games. I, I, I think that's going to be so, but it still is, you know, I'll get it. I'll get one of the RDMA 3. And also, you know, it's kind of nice, you know, with the reviewing stuff to have um, something more powerful, just, you know, for safety sake. That way I know I can safely run it with the highest setting, um, highest configuration. But, uh, you know, it's also just, it'll be nice to be able to do that and to just turn things up and not worry about it. I, it has been quite a while, and I don't know, okay, I just got a text in case I can. Um, oh, hello. Oop. Um. Yeah. So probably the one, the next location, I should say, uh, in this uh, in this game is probably end up being on such a show. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I'm prepared mentally, and you know, I, I have the money. I don't have the income, but I have the money uh, um, to be able to. You know, if I need to spend like five, six hundred dollars. I am prepared to do that. So even the word like, oh you no, know, it's a four hundred dollar card that would do me quite well. It's like I'm still still a little bit. That stuff that's yet to be announced. We did get the announcement for the new uh, Ryzen CPU, which are definitely interesting. Uh, that it's you know, with Zen 3 that they're claiming 19% IBC improvement, which is really not. That, that, that's, that's a lot. And that's also just from core design, because they're using the exact same uh, process node as Zen 2 is. It's like all the design library stuff is the same between them, it, and it's manufactured the same, which I do think could prove interesting for pricing. Um, oh, that's horrible. And I'm not thinking, I'm, I, I don't think I'm desensitized to, to this stuff in games, but it's just because I have the objective of cleaning things, that's, that's going to take so long and be so messy. Um, uh, yeah, I'm going to start over there and then work over. Because this terminates, that gets to an elevator that takes you up. That's why it's called an elevator. Um, but I just feel like messing with that uh, late. Focus on this pool. Oh, I never started the time. Um, yeah, going back to the secret, man, they... Yeah, I can understand that people are upset with the pricing, but it's like, until Zen 2 is out, until the, well, is out of the market, until the, uh, Ryzen... Yeah, that's the 2000 series, is out of the market. They fit into the product stack just fine, so it's... But I, 
I do think it's not unreasonable to believe that with the Zen 3 stuff, because it's on the same node, that we could see a smooth transition to the 5000 series being the current, you know, that's what you get. Uh, you don't see the, the 3000 series so much. I could see that happening, and at that time, then, the pricing changed, the pricing period. If not officially, unofficially. Because, you know, it, it's, um, God, this, yeah, that's, a. Uh, what the hell is this based on? Because a lot of these are references to some some movie or some game or something. Um, but it's like with, with this cross symbol there, I am wondering what is this based on? Um, but yeah, so unofficially, you know, just like how you can see it with the 2000, 3000 series as well. Where it's just, yeah, they sell them at. You know, th there's a price that they actually. The suggested price, and then there's the like. Well, now with everybody only charges for price, where there's the unofficial kind of price structure. I knew I didn't have much time on this model. Uh, that might have one more. That. Um, always makes me think of the Death of the Games, this, this music, and if you played them or just heard that soundtrack, I think you can understand. It is so good. I'm not pushing this one. One more shot, not try. Okay, this has got to be its last. So, turn this. Just like this. I'm gonna make my life easier. pay attention to the CPU stuff, but I'm not upgrading on the 1950X. Even if I had the money, I'm not going to do that for a while, because it's awesome. It still is awesome. Um, although I could see a Zen 3 Threadripper being more awesome, I will admit. Um, because of the new CCX design. Um, this one is design that allows the, to, that allows the, um, uh, I'm just, okay. um, that allows the ray tracing to be shader controlled, I wonder if that will ultimately open up the ability to, like, inject ray tracing games and have it accelerate. Because right now, you can actually get something that will inject ray tracing. Like, I could have this game be ray tracing, too. Um, it would still be sort of screen space screen based, based, is my understanding, but it's it would be still change the rendering system for the lighting to use ray tracing. So the shadows and such in, in view would be more accurate. And the brightness levels as well. And I do just kind of wonder if... AMD will, with this hybrid approach, basically have to be like, okay, here's the documentation, here's how you can access it, and then people probably partially have their minds blown and start thinking, okay, how do we design the HLSL and GLSL uh, shaders to take full advantage of this? Oh, 
there was something that occurred to me. Because one of the other things that was talked about in the AMD patent concerning the uh, hybrid design was the possibility for the um, uh, and you also see it in the DirectX to what is it? Is it one point two or is it two for the ray tracing for the DXR? But just the idea of using ray tracing for things other than graphs. And I actually had an idea for an example for that. I don't know. Something that wasn't graphics or was it was graphics related but not not in the same way. Can't think different. But it still is that that is something that's a potential that I would love to see. Um, because there would be so many games that's like, oh man, I'm definitely getting the thing to inject. <laughs> I'm definitely getting, getting the thing set up so I can inject ray tracing into, say, Dead Space, uh, Alien Isolation, Outlast. Oh yeah, yeah, I, 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 I would put myself through that help. Or somebody else. Was, uh, yeah, at some point I would do Layers of Fear too, it looks like, because, uh, no, whatever, I'm not here. Um, so I'm, this is October 19th, and the um, next week, three games, uh, the Epic Game Store includes Layers of Fear 2. So I will do that at some point, because I'll have a copy. And, it, I'm doing this again. Um, but Ian was just talking about him, because Layers of Fear is a different kind of horror game than others, like Outlast, those they have very different styles to horror. And just, I, I love the idea of putting somebody else through Outlast, Alien, Isolation, th those games. Maybe also Amnesia, because it didn't really do anything for me. I I'm serious, uh, Amnesia, The Dark Descent, people are like, oh, it's such a scary game, it's like, I play it, it's... I mean, I, I guess I'd have to check the, um, the heart rate stuff, but I have no memory of being really frightened. I mean, it was creepy, and it was confusing. I could not figure out some of the story stuff, but it, it did not rise to the level of actually scary. There. Um, like, Outlast achieved that for Alien Isolation. I don't remember you in the general sense, I did have that, because it was just so stressful trying to deal with the alien. And that that's fine, I mean, it, it was frightening and stressful in that way, but it wasn't, you know, necessarily sheer terror. But I, I putting somebody else to, because I don't, I want to say I've not been desensitized, it's just I've gotten used to some of this stuff. Um, well, maybe it's just I've seen stuff that's worse. But I think some of it is also just the whole... I play video games enough that I understand the whole... I, what the hell? Oh, that's an alien. Um, that I can be very objective based in what I'm looking at. So it's like, you know, seeing that alien there, you know, like turning and it's just there. That doesn't scare me. It's like, ah, oh, that's not a thing. Like I've disassociated enough what I see from that interpretation of, oh my god, what is You know, that, that, that thing that some people say isn't, isn't true, that, you know, people, people playing video games all the time, that they're violent because they see all this violence. It's like, no, I, I'm completely associated from this being real. It's not to say that it it doesn't uh find me. No, find me is definitely a thing. I fully acknowledge that. So to explain what that is, that would be the idea that um see? 
Okay. Um, so that would be if you were to watch, say, a violent film or a violent game. Um, and all you've done is just watch it. You may then, if in a stressful encounter, whatever that actually translates to if you're in that, you may be more likely to turn to violence as a solution because you've been trying to think about, uh, think about violence. That's not to suggest that you're a violent person. No, no, no. And I think I did see one study that actually did make the point that it does uh, put the impact um, from playing a video game does diminish over time. That's like once you get, you know, shortly, you know, not even that much time, like in just half an hour or something. Uh, but that's enough for the person to be back to a normal state, basically normal mental state. Uh-oh. Um. That, that, yeah, it's, but it is a transitory effect. It, it's, it's not this, oh, gamers are just not going to be violent because of violent games. So. It'd also be like if you were doing a puzzle game, so nothing violent in it, but you know, just a straight puzzle game. And, you know, it frustrates you that there's something about it that it's just not clicking, so you're getting frustrated with it if you would have then be frustrated with whatever happens next in your like, you, you may be more likely to snap there because of how frustrated you become. That's priming as well. Um, okay, you know what? Hopefully this it probably is, but I can hope it isn't there. Uh, depositing the gore and stuff like that. Huh. That's not good. Uh, um... It actually looks like things are fine. There we go. Uh, you could also then, in like a... To use an example probably everyone is familiar with, at least as the meme. You know, you could have somebody like a boyfriend uh, after watching The Princess Bride, a classic uh, romance movie, suddenly be more likely to want to propose to the girlfriend. It's like, that that would also be crying. Hopefully you're not, I mean, because that, that's a big decision, I would think. Hopefully you're not going to be too subjected to priming there. But it, it, it's, that's the idea, to prime in psychology, that it's, uh, you know, just, you're primed, you're, you're ready, uh, to think about this stuff because of something you've been exposed to. I, I knew that was gonna happen, so, not, not, not really surprising or Oh, yeah, yeah, that. I mean, I'm gonna... Um... I was just gonna ask, how did I get to that topic? I don't know. But it does. Um... There we go. But yeah, putting some of my brother or anyone else do some games. So the people I know, my brother would probably be the easiest. Just as far as the whole getting somebody to actually play through the game, because it's like I couldn't do that to my mother or father. They just no, they don't 
understand, I guess would be a way to put it, video games enough to actually be like, yeah, we'll finish this. Even though it, you know, scares the crap out of them. Okay, that one was actually kind of my fault, because I, I did keep pressing forward when I really should have stopped. Uh. Oh man, you know that too. I just remember when the rumors about the the new AMD GPUs that uh, they may have a massive number of ops. Which, that directly relates to the uh, rendering, the rasterization operation drops. It, it, it's the part of the GPU that handles that stuff. Which, this game does offer MSAA for its anti-aliasing, but I don't want it on because it's a bit much. Um, man, with a lot of drops, it would be... Especially because, you know, I'm... Yeah, it's funny. I will be willing to upgrade to, like, a 4K capable GPU and still be running on a 1080 class monitor. Yeah. Um... I was like, I'm completely happy with this monitor. Do I want to upgrade? Sure. But it's, I have no reason. I have no actual reason that I need to upgrade my display. So, I'm not going to. That, that's basically how I work. Whereas with the GPU, it's like, no, I do Like, there, there are actual benefits that I could take advantage of. you'd have to be able to move around. But like, doing the mulch over there, maybe even have it be able to, or a version of it, be able to take these containers directly. And you just drop the stuff in there, and it turns it into mulch, into a paste. And you could even balance it by giving it a chance for it to just start spewing the stuff out, which will then require a massive mopping, a lot of mopping to clean up. But I could see that one. As a feature, as a mechanic. Oh yeah, that's right. I I was just thinking it would also be nice if it had gaze tracking in here so that I could actually look down and it's like, oh yeah, that's right, I also have the gaze tracker turned on. So I am capturing that layer as well. It's not like I forget, forget. It, it's just, I don't have it on that much so I don't think about it. It, it depends. Some games, it all have to happen. Like, I still say that the best way to play, like, one of the F1 games, especially the recent ones, is with the gaze track. And I need to get one of off into that. Ah, better. But, um, 
yeah, it is just doing the, um, like racing first person with the gaze tracker. Oh my god, that is such a fun thing. It is so fun. So I cannot, and I've talked about it so many times. Probably even in these videos, but also in those videos. Once for the F1 games. Uh, it, it's just, I can't do first person racing games. It, it just, I, I like having the, the awareness around me. But then it's, you know, you turn, go first person with that and have the gaze track on, it is completely natural. I don't want to play it a different way. Like, if Codemasters adds gaze tracking to one of the dirt games, I would definitely try that then first person. Might not go so well, but I, I would fully give it a try. Is it possible this is a reference to Little Shop of Horror? Might be. Which also reminds me, if you ever need something to watch, look up the original Little Shop of Horror. Not the... Was that Rick Moran? It was later made into a musical, and then I think the musical was made into the movie, not the movie that was the musical, and then the musical that came from it. I don't remember the order. But, um... It's like the original, it is quite different. It's a lot darker. Um... But yeah, it, it is, though, quite a thing to watch. It's actually, I think I, did I talk about it in that video? Um, I did a Bucket of Blood as one of the movies with the heart rate reaction. Uh, one of those. That's same, same guy uh, made that as made um, the Little Shop 4s. Little Shop 4s came out afterward. And... Yeah, it, it's just quite different. And it's like, oh yeah, oh, Bucket of Blood came first. You know, that explains so much. It's one of those kind of things. Still pretty much fun. Still pretty fun. And speaking of those, I, I've... Actually, yeah, this is already... Timing is out that way. Um, I've finished doing that. I actually just recorded the last one yesterday. Um... No score out to seemed a good one to end on. That wasn't good. Um, but yeah, it just is so much weirder to do than than the, the game videos. So I'm not doing them anymore. It's just harder to schedule them, harder to get into the mindset to do them. Because it's like with this, okay, I know I got several hours out of the day to do this. But it's also, I'm going to be engaged doing this, I'm doing this stuff. So it's easier to get my my mind around doing. Um, quite a but I did see when I was looking stuff up that do need to do plan. Uh, new seat. Actually, while I'm going to die, it's spotted. I think it's said in the thing you need nine. Or it's either nine spots, or it's you need nine seats. Let, let's. If this only takes. Okay, then yeah, it, it must be nine spots. It's nine seats total. Let's take care of the other one. Oh, 
this takes more, maybe? Looks like it. Alright. Go get that. Also feel that would be one of those, especially the sequel it might be better to do it with somebody else. Yeah, if only I had a friend. Based on that, it, it... Oh, maybe... Right? Oh, there it is. Okay. I need that second position. <laughs> the point called the dead man. do enjoy it, actually. Th that's the name of the song, in case you, you know, were thinking I was being, no, the, this is, pretty sure it is just spanked, as the title. Oh, there it is. Hey, and that was it. I've talked about that before. Enjoy. It's 
specific piece of music. I actually should, well... Okay. And that was it. Is it I should be continuing to clean stuff up uh, over there, basically. I think I'm good. You know, except for this room. I'm another game I need to do at some point, and it is on the list, I just haven't done it, because that would be so much time. Um, maybe it's what I'll do after this, though. Like, when I wrap up Physical Gleam Detail, maybe it's what I'll use for the, uh, rounding up off week. Is, um, Left 4 Dead 2. Because it is on my list, I would like to actually do that, and just, like, play through all the campaigns. But it's just, those, those can take multiple hours. I mean, true, this fight can take multiple hours as well, but it's like, it's just a sizable. But it still could be a lot of fun. And yeah, I, I, li I like that idea. Using it as the thing after uh, I wrap up there's a claim detail, which is going to be a lot. Um, just trying to think how many... There's more than half a dozen. There's more than six maps after, besides this one that I still need to do. And I do have the list. I actually have it in a couple places. Mountain King and all the maps. Now I want to listen to Russian Stroke. I, I think I've told that story before. I got a copy. Well, I got a CD. Because it had in the Hall of Mountain King, it's like I want, you know, a, a good recording of it. And I do, it, it's a very good recording. Of it. And, you know, it, I know it can, can sound weird the idea of just purchasing a CD for a single song, well, single piece on it. Um, that's what I did. The, it's the piece after in the Hall of Mountain King that I enjoy more, though. What the heck? Um, which, which is Wimsky Korsakov's uh, Russian East Overture. Very good. And there have been times where it's like I, I put that CD in and just have that one track. Uh, with the full hours. It is so enjoyable. I do also have, I don't remember what the CD is, but I do also have one that is, uh, and I think it's also a fourth copy. Um, uh, Christmas Eve in the Savior April, which is apparently, and I looked it up, it is a very uncommonly played piece. And I think part of the reason why is it's just not so well known. There are some odd pieces that, yeah, you, you'll be there. Like, uh, the fourth movement of the ninth sym of Beethoven's ninth symphony is like 25 minutes or longer. I, I don't remember. It's a long. Um, well, Christmas Eve in Sarajevo is like 23 minutes. So I, I think that's part of the reason why. It might also be that there's this weird right stuff for it. Um, because yes, orchestras do need to get secure rights to perform and stuff. Uh, but it's also a very nice piece. And there's only like a few CDs out there that have it. I don't even remember why I got that CD. I, there's a reason why. There was something on it I wanted. But I cannot remember what it was. Thank you. 
I'm sure if I just grab the seat, I'm not going to do that, though. And I'm focused on this for the next five minutes. Now we got some Wagner. I'm gonna make some. Because I'm certain I'm gonna be needing them over here. I saw the. For exactly that. Ah. I actually should be like taking these out along this, this wall. Because it's funny, but what is that noise? I hope it's not coming through, but it's just there must be some like heavy truck. Outside, I, I not even like a delivery. That wouldn't be that hard. Yeah, I don't know, and I'm not going to check the audio recording for it specifically. Um, but hey, I've got the. I'm using the newer version. Well, so much for that. Um, of OBS that does have the RNN you No know, Network Noise Suppressor in there, which definitely seems good. Uh, just when I experimented with it a while ago now. Um, can I catch it? Can I catch it? Yes, I caught it. Haha. -ha. Um, it uh, was doing a very good job of not only blocking, you know, not, not capturing uh, some fan noise, but also of actually not capturing it while I was speaking. Like, even when I was talking, I could not hear fan go. was picking up my typing. And I'm actually now in different switches, so it might not... I don't know if it'll... Uh, okay. So, here's... So what I'm gonna do since I started the time of light and then stop now because it's a good place to save it just so that you know I, I know I'm safe. I just yep. Yeah, I've already been going for so pause that so yeah I can stop this. Um I'm just yeah, th th there's nothing there's nothing to say. And by the way, the the I was looking off screen, just like down thinking that's why the bubble disappeared. Alright, uh, so I'm going to stop this and see you next time for continuing Viscoclean Detail and Hydroponic Health. See you then.